Hello guys, welcome to the show. I'm your host Ming, and this show is where I talk about gaming news of the day. Up first, Relic Entertainment is revealing that Company Heroes 2, a sequel to the 2006 smash hit Company of Heroes, will be arriving sometime in 2013. This time, the campaign will be focused on the Red Army fighting on the eastern front of World War II. Environment effects will be emphasized. For example, infantry will walk faster in snow after a tank has rolled over it. Fans of the game will be pleased to know that Relic won't be straying far from the gameplay set by the original. The developer quotes, They consider it a more significant departure from the formula, along the lines of what they did with Warhammer 40k's on War 2, but ultimately wanted to maintain the core of the original. In other news, Saints Row the Third will be getting a standalone expansion called Enter the Dominatrix. This time, the Third Three Saints will be targeted by aliens, whose goals are for world domination. The Saints leader is kidnapped by these aliens and put in a virtual replica of the city Steelport, but named the Dominatrix. Now what would be new to the gameplay that Saints World the Third hasn't done? Well you guessed it, superpowers. Developer Danny Bilson at THQ quotes, the player will be faster than a speeding cyber jet bike, and able to leap flying aircraft carriers in a single bound. Expect Enter the Dominatrix to be released fall of 2012 with a price tag of $30. Lastly, the well-known publisher Electronic Arts is investing $80 million in development of games for Generation 4 console system. What this means is that the popular franchise such as Battlefield 3 and Mass Effect can be played on the upcoming console, the Wii U. This must be exciting news for Nintendo fans indeed. Now this is probably due to EA's present efforts. EA reported net sales of $4.14 billion for the full year, up from $3.59 billion for the previous fiscal year. Also, the company posted an astonishing net income of $76 million for the year, compared to a loss of $276 million for the year before. A few examples of smash hits this year was FIFA Soccer 12, bringing in a whopping $108 million in digital revenues with another $34 million expected for the current year. In addition, the ever popular game Battlefield 3, which has generated 61 million in digital revenues, will be expected to generate 79 million for the current fiscal year. Now, with that much money, I say it's a good choice to invest in the upcoming consoles. Today is May the 7th. I'm your host, Ming, signing off.